What is the future of Super 73? Hi squad and welcome back to the channel. Today is the 25th of January. A year ago, day for day, Super 73 unveiled their new bikes, the R-Series and the S2. What can they actually do for the next years if they have already the best bike of the market? I have something to say about the future of Super 73. If you're interested in that, stay until the end. Let's go. You don't have only one path, you have multiple paths. Multi -pass. And I think Super 73 is taking all of them, which is amazing. And I love it. I love it. One of the first paths you have is making your bike bigger, stronger, and better. They are improving the motor. We had the version one motor who had some technical difficulties. Now it's the version three. It's stronger, it doesn't break. We hope so. They can make the motor faster or maybe more efficient. And with efficiency, you're thinking about the battery. What you want from a battery is to have the best speed for the best range. And once you have no battery anymore, you want to be able to charge it fast. Like going back to 70% of your battery in 20 minutes. The great thing with the new bikes is that it's just like a Tesla. It's a hardware and software, and they can improve the efficiency of the battery and the motor, the usage of electricity and the torque and the different settings. For the other parts of the bike, you can always try to find the best provider. When they did a dedicated day for demoing the bike, they prep one bike and put the suspension of dirt bikes on it and it will already change and improve the bike. But that's not all. Super 73 can improve a lot on the frame, for instance. Just take the S1 frame. The bracket of the headlight is working now because it's strong and it's made differently. And your headlight will never tilt down again. Super 73 has improved their bike batch after batch to make an even better bike, although it's the same model. At the beginning of this year, they have launched Super 73 Apparel. Why the hell a bike company is releasing apparel? Tristan Arvin said it in his video and it just makes sense because Super 73 is promoting a lifestyle with their bike. Who is also doing this and is making something that made the brand really, really lasting for a long time and that you even know as of today, to know this, don't forget to smash the like button <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't, because it's important for the channel. Harley Davidson. Super 73 are following the steps of Harley Davidson, but for different demographic. And I think this is genius. It's gonna make the brand even bigger than itself. The community is something even more important, even bigger than the bike. Super 73 is addressing a different type of demographic than Harley Davidson is. Recently, Harley Davidson is trying to appeal to a younger audience. We don't want to be with leather coat. We don't want to have a huge beard. We want t-shirts, beanies, hats, a huge ass sweatshirt with your chapter on the back. Maybe I'm completely wrong. And you know what? If it doesn't work at all and it's just some apparel, it's a simple way to make money also. So. is not all. I think Super 73 might be watching even beyond the products they are working on. If you're paying attention, Super 73 is not 
promoting themselves as a knee bike company. They've always promoting themselves as a motorbike company. The future of transportation is electric. Tesla and every brand is moving toward electric engine. So what if Super 73 is working to release a full electric motorbike, just like BMW, just like Soko, just like Harley Davidson. I can't wait to see what Super 73 is really doing. I'd love to know what you're thinking of this idea and tell me in the comment what you think is the big next step of Super 73. But don't forget, this is just a theory. A Super 73 theory. Thanks for watching. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, all the R series and the S2 of the world. Happy birthday to you. I love it. Hey, I just finished my huge logo. I just did it for the intro. Now I don't know what to do with it. Leave me in the comment what I should do with it now. Shh.